Live options trading, taking a big loss. It wasn't fair to you guys for me just to cancel out of the live stream. It wasn't fair to myself for follow this uh, mission on through. And it just wasn't very kosher of me to just end the live stream like that. I'm better than that. I feel better than that. I'm way better than that. Um, I apologize to anybody I offended. I'm back. I'm here. I'm here to tell you what happened to my trade. And I'm here to tell you what I did during this trade that made some mistakes. You guys know I just took a big loss on OXY. At the market open, I ended up getting into this trade on OXY. I ended up getting into the $63 puts. It wasn't even a trade I should have been in in the first place. And I added and I added and I added. I should have gotten out at break even right here when it came down to here. Let me blow up this chart right here. I was in the $63 puts. I added all the way up into that. Thank you, Fitz Trader, for understanding. Yes, I came back just for a little bit just to tell you guys about my loss. I'm very disappointed in in my loss and I need to face my battle straight forward and tell you exactly what I did. So I'm gonna tell you what ended up happening right here. Anyways, I started my position. I took a $63 put because the $63 are the ones that had the volume. That was never, never, never a put I wanted to be in. In the pre-market, I wanted to tell you what I was gonna do. In the pre-market, I told you guys up here by $66 to $70, that is where I wanted to take it. But anyways, I took a $63 put, I added up into it, I could have got out right here for break even, for maybe a $100 loss, maybe a $50 loss, maybe even a, a break even trade. I could have got out right here. Boom. And that would have been fine. I would have moved on about my day. But what did I do? I decided I, I was, I was wishy-washy. I decided, am I going to hold this? Am I going to hold it all day? Am I not? I know it's not going up over $70 today, but are my contracts ever going to pay me off? So anyways, I ended up adding again up here. I added right here and then I cut the live stream out somewhere in this area. I ended up taking, getting out right here. Most of my shares right here, or no, wait, let me show you what happened. Actually, I ended up uh, right here. It was right here. I ended up getting out most of my shares right here on this little candle right here, right there. And I said, if it goes up towards high a day, again, this is the five minute chart, I'm gonna stop out. I ended up stopping out right here. Right there is where I stopped out at, at high a day. I reduced my risk. I only had about 20 contracts left after it came down right here. And I ended up stopping out as soon as it went over high a day. I got my wits about me and I stopped out right there and ended up losing $900, a $900 loser trade. I, I was discombobulated. I didn't know what to do. So then another trade came. As soon as I left the live stream, another trade came and I traded AMD. And I'm gonna show you this trade too. So when I left the stream, I didn't make very much money, but I traded AMD right here, uh, right here. So AMD, I short sold right here at $97. I made $74 green trade on AMD. So after commissions, I ended up losing $895 after commissions, which isn't too bad, but I should have been patient in my trades. I should have been well, I should have been good. I should have been doing better things than that. OXY, garbage, garbage, garbage trade. And those are the kind of mistakes that are gonna mess you up. Taking garbage, garbage, garbage trades like that. OXY, garbage trade. I needed to realize, what am I going to do? On this trade, I should have stopped out right here. This should have been my stop point, but I waited all the way till up here and stopped out. It was garbage, 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 garbage.
killed me fry so now i want my money back yeah i know look it i had a 96 cent average by the time uh after i left the live stream i ended up adding again a little bit i can't remember exactly what i did and i ended up with a 96 cent average on the 63 puts the 63 puts are now at 74 to 83 cents is it going to break down I really don't think OXY gets over $69, $70 today, but if I was waiting for this trade, I should have waited for my correct entry. I didn't. I just jumped in. Just why did I jump in, though? That is the question. From Look at yesterday. The day before, it did the same thing. It went straight on up. I should have realized not a good trade not a freaking good trade but amd turned out to be a beautiful trade right there so amd i am i am risking more on my first trade but i need to risk more on my first trade when it's a good good trade and i want you guys to know i apologize for cutting the stream out i was very frustrated with myself I knew I was in a bad trade, and the way I do anything is the way you do everything. I knew I was in a horrible, horrible trade from the get, and uh, I should have never kept on with it. I should have stopped out. I, I could have got out for break even and moved on about my day. But why didn't I, I get out for break even and move on about my day? Because I wanted to hold longer also. And when it came right down here, right here, was my break-even spot right right there i could have got out break-even but that's what you get if you're gonna hold longer some of your losers are gonna be bigger so it, i didn't get out right here so i played the trade out and ended up stopping out right here which is i'm still very very happy with my stop very 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 happy with my stop even though it did come all the way back down I'm very happy with how I stopped out after the fact, but truth be told, I should have stopped out right here, right over this high right here, or I should have reduced my risk, at least reduced my risk right down there, and that would have been a, a good trade. I, I would have managed my risk well. Everything would have been good, but I didn't reduce my risk. I didn't stop out. I continue to let this trade go against me, and sometimes that will happen. I should have stopped out way before this point, but that's what you get for holding and hoping, man. Holding and hoping. We learn and move forward, and that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> so right after my oxy trade, let's put that trade down there, red trade. I'm gonna tell you that was the red trade, and then I took the AMD trade, and AMD, truthfully, I wanted to still be holding on to this one. And this is the type of trade what I should have held on to. I was in right here. Let me blow up this chart. I ended up taking the 97 puts. I ended up taking the 97 put right here. I did a one. And I added one time right here. And this one... I had a $3.30 average. I took profit right here. But this is the one I should have held down because this was in our game book this morning. Remember this morning, OXY up towards $66 to $70. AMD up towards $97 to $100. So both of the trades played out perfectly. But you guys are going to see me. I am going to be taking bigger money trades. So just so you guys know, don't be surprised when I take another $1,000 loss or a $1,000 winner because that's what I'm doing now. I'm going for bigger, bigger wins. I'm not going to stop until I get there. We got this. There's nothing wrong with that. We got this. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. So now my account sits at $12,000. $585 right back down to where I was man <laughs> right back to where I was but I'm still it's still grown about I would say $1,500 I've still grown it since I took those three big losses at the beginning of the year man almighty but let's get in here let's see if we can find some trades look at the spy 
The spy came right on up to 402 and got rejected. That's right when I was taking the AMD short trade is when I seen uh, the spy coming up here. Let's find out. I've been growing this account ever since the beginning. I'm taking bigger winners. I'm taking bigger losses. I said when my account gets over 13,000, you're going to see me take a bigger winner or a bigger loss. I stepped into one of the worst trades. And another reason I'm going to give for me getting into that trade is I'm sick. I'm super duper sick right now. And I, w I just wanted to get this day done and over with. And now I can't because I took that big loss. Now my mind is turning. My mind is spinning. And I'm just thinking, thinking, thinking. Why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? Why, oh, why, oh, why? Oh, why, man? Why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? I could still be holding on to this. If I would have had enough buying power, believe it or not, I would add all the way up into $70 on this option trade. The $63 put, I would still add into it if I had enough buying power. But I don't. I'm on a small account. So I should have reduced my risk right there. That should have been, the trade should have been over. Right, right there. Let's find out if there's anything else for us to trade out here. I'm going to find some more trades, it looks like. Is there any more? So the AMD trade, why didn't I just hold on to this one? This is, the, I was trying to make $1,000 back before I came back to the live stream. I had eight contracts. I wanted to get 16 contracts, though. Look at that trade right there, man. Dear Monk, avoid revenge trading. Yeah, only if there's a good trade. Uh, that's why I took the AMD trade. This was the trade. After I shut the live stream down, I took the AMD trade right there. Because it was a beautiful, beautiful trade. Beautiful, beautiful. A-plus setup right there. I should have waited for this. I only made 74 bucks, but oh well, that's fine. Man, OXY took me for the ride of my life. Is there anything else we need to be looking at here? I don't know. I do have to get out of here uh, shortly, but um, if I see a trade, I'll take a trade. I do have a little bit of buying power left, and I'm ready to go, man. No revenge trading, man. Absolutely not. Man, I'm so disappointed in myself today. So, so freaking disappointed, but I'm happy to be here. That is the thing. Let's go trade V-E-R-U for a little while. Here we go. V-E-R-U. Boom, boom, boom. Man, what a loss, man. I'm still in Oxy. I think you're, I think Oxy's good. Logan, I think Oxy is going to be good. I think it at least retest a 6450s. That's what I think anyway. The $64.50 at least gets back down to there. But that's just what I think. Remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Look at DTST, just money, money, money. Look at that support. 340 to 350, 340 to 346, 342 to 348, 340, 340. Oh my gosh, man. Just money, money, money on this thing. DTST, just money, money, and money. I'm going to get into DTST here. I'm getting into DTST. Let's do it. I think OXY is doing its last little spike here. I'm going to get in DTST at $3.50 right here. $3.50. I'm waiting for an option trade too. I just don't see one right now. AMC was an A plus setup. OXY, man, should have been a beautiful trade. I needed to be a little bit more patient. Today was my own doing. I did I did what I did today myself. There is nobody to blame but myself. Just a horrible trade, man. I can't believe I did that. And then I let it go too far against me. I kept going, no, no. Uh, did you see I was saying, I'm going to hold this one. I'm going to hold it. No, you don't hold a trade that is a bad trade. 
You only hold trades that are good trades. I was going, I'm going to hold OXY because OXY, I don't think it's ever getting up over $70 this week. I think it comes back in before it gets over $70. Eventually, it, it may get over $70 though. Here we go, $349. Let's get this money all the way up. $359 is my first profit target. $3.59. This is a beautiful little trade here. Is it going to be breaking it out? Yes. Hopefully it can break out right here and go from there. So thank you guys for coming back. I apologize. Mainly I came back just to apologize to everybody that's been here for a long, long time. I And I never want to leave the live stream like that. I should have been straight. I should have just stayed with it and kept with it. Here we go, making a little money on DTST here. Nothing that fancy. I should have got in with more shares. If this 348 right there, I'm going to try to get 40 more. 40 more shares here. Here we go. Yeah, 40 more. If it can come back down to the 349, 350 here, I will pick this up again. 350s. 350s and I'm gonna add uh, y'all see monkeys last brick wall ending stream out I'm sorry man Michael and Grease said that's what I'm here for is to apologize I want to apologize I want to show you every single trade all the way up to one million dollars and there's gonna be ups there's gonna be downs I was just looking on my TD Ameritrade you can actually your accounts you can uh uh, even if you have trader view on thinkorswim you can see your trend from the very beginning of this small account i can see my trend i've had a couple big huge cliffs that fell off but but mainly on td ameritrade you can look at your trend like your account balance and my trend is pretty darn good man here's 349 so here we go let's see if this will get up here a little bit and go from there. 349. I always take six cents a profit, first of all. Here we go. 349, 356. Let's see if this will get up to 359. Just locking in some profits right here for DTST. Looking for this to go up towards $4. Is it going to make it? I don't know. We'll find out here pretty soon. So I locked in a little profit at 356, just to lock in five, six cents a profit, just to be careful. Come on. Is it gonna make it? I'm gonna take a little bit more off at $3.55 right there. And let's see if DTST can get up over the top, get up over 380 and really start moving here. Right, Chris. Way to stand tall and come back. Th thank you, Chris. Yes. I love I love what's been going on. I was you didn't take too much of a hit at not to I lost $895 after commissions, which isn't too bad. Not too bad, but it's a pretty big chunk of this account. And uh, the only way I'm taking bigger uh, bigger trades is when my account is over 13,000. Since it's under 13,000, I'm going to build it right back up. It's going to take me about a week to get it back up over 13,000 again from trading. I should have never, ever, ever, ever OXY, man. OXY. OXY is getting up there again. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I want to take this put trade. I want to take this put trade. I'm going to. I'm going to, man. I'm taking it. Sorry, guys. I have to get out of DTST. I'm going to take the trade here. DTST. Man, I shouldn't get out. Of I'm just going to put my stop in here at 349. 349 hard stop on there and I'm going to get in OXY here. I'm taking it again. 
And here we go. This is what I was looking for right here. 67. 68. What put am I going to be trading? 67. 50s. 68. I think I'll trade the 67s. Yeah, 67s here. Here we go, man. I'm trying to get into $67 puts at $195. One ninety seven, come on. No, oh man, I'm trying to get in at one ninety nine. No, no, are you kidding me, man? I'm gonna have to wait for it to come back up. I'll, I'll I'll try to get it at one dollar and ninety eight cents. One ninety two actually, or no, one ninety eight. I'm going to try to get it at a dollar ninety eight. Oh my gosh, this was a beautiful trade right here. Good little trade on there. So DTST is still going up. I'm looking for four dollars for the profit target. I put my stop at break even. It's fine. Here we go. OXY is definitely a little bit of a slower play, but it's a great, great little trade to me. I don't think this gets up over $70, 69. Oh, I stopped out of DTST, it looks like. 98, come on. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in OXY at $1.98. Let's see if I can play this one a little bit better. I have 5,000 buying power. I'm doing a 112. A 112 all the way up into the 6850s. I'm not letting it get up over $69, $70. This is my trade. Let's do it. 198. And some more cons on OXY. So I'm in the 67 puts right here. It is kind of going up a little bit higher. Come on. Get up there. My next ad is 178. 178 right here. I, I didn't know if I was going to get a trade on OXY, but it, it's given it to me. Pretty darn good right here. Come on. OXY. OXY. This is a grinder, so this one you have to be able to manage risk. If you're not able to recognize and stop out, then OXY kind of is a tough one to trade right here. You have to know where your stop's going to be. What am I looking for on this? I'm going to blow this up and I'm going to show you. Here we go. Here's what I'm doing on OXY. Let's go to the 15 minute chart though. And a 15 minute chart. Or no, I can't go there. Let's go to the hourly chart, four hour chart. No, it's hard to really see on here. Anyways, here's what I'm doing. I did a starter position right here. Boom, right at high a day. Look at this. Right at the high a day, starter position. I think there's resistance up at $70. So what am I going to do? My next ad is going to be right up here by $68. And then my last ad would be at $69. And then I'm looking for this to come back down. Boom. Oh, I'm looking for it to do this. Boom, either come down to here on that one, or if it keeps going up, I'm looking for a retest of 68, 67, and then hopefully a breakdown into this level, and we'll see how it reacts down by 66, 50s, but hopefully it can come all the way back down into 65. If it got up over 70, I'm definitely going to have to stop out 100%. Well, let's go see how this is working out. 
let's uh let's shrink this back down that's my game plan this is what i'm doing i know oxy just bit me once it's probably going to bite me again here i'm trying to add into this thing though so my ad is up by 68 that's a one one double my double is up towards 68 50 69 and my stop would have to be up over that high a day there i'm in at a dollar 98 right now man it never filled me yet sofi spikes you see it coming unfreeze oh i know yeah michael and greasy i i didn't see that much loss in the trade i don't options and don't understand how one could lose that quick my huge losses are over days weeks like a deer looking into headlights yeah oxy just really really took me for a ride i i got so many contracts and then i just let it go too far against me i was supposed to stop out on oxy OXY was I should have stopped out right here. That was my stop point right here. Boom. Break even trade right there. But what I messed up on is I didn't do my ad because I didn't want to add because this thing was still grinding. I was supposed to add right here too. Right there was my next ad. And I did not add. So I just let it go against me right there. And it just got me good, man. Got me, got me good. I, I messed up on the plan. Good morning, everyone. Good to see you, Paul DeVault. Uh, great to see you. Sun shining outside today, for sure. I got to get out of here soon, though. I'm waiting for my trade, so I'm adding at 178. Come on up. OXY, I don't think it gets up over $69, $70 today, but maybe it does. Look at this thing. Just been grinding higher and higher and higher. I'm going to have to let this trade play out without me. I'm going to try to get my final profit way down here by $65, but uh, $66.50 is going to be my first profit target right in that area. 67 66 probably right here actually 66 60 right there right at the top of that range but anyways i do have to get out of here oxy on the w breakout yep oxy on the w breakout it is breaking out but it's uh i don't think 70 dollars it's too much man too too much 198 come on down man 209 I should have added right there a little bit maybe it's going to trend down the rest of the day maybe it still goes higher too <clears throat> let's go look at SOFI somebody was talking about SOFI boom yeah SOFI no trader CVNA look at this one man there were so many good trades if I would have just waited for AMD I should have just waited for AMD. I could have took this. This was it. This was the trade I was supposed to take. Man almighty. There we go. Took a little profit off right there. I, I do have to get out of here, so I'm just going to let this come down. Hopefully it comes down a little bit further, but 208, come on down. I'm going to stop out at break even if it gets back up there. 198, come on down. Oxy on the way down for you, Monk. Yeah, look at it, man. I'm trying to hold some of these longer, but this just isn't really worth to hold longer here because I only have two contracts. I already spent my buying power. I just wanted to show you guys a good trade, but hopefully you guys can hold longer. I don't think it gets up over $59 to, or $69, $70 today, but be careful. 204. Come on. Locked in a little profit. Bald with the kid. Let's do it, man. No flakes melt when it's hot, kid. 
Yes, that's exactly right. Look at this. Oh, man. I guess I should stop out of this. Here we go. Come on back down. I don't want to get out less than break even here. This is a little bit slower play, so you're going to need to add, take profits, add, recycle, all the way back down into 65 down there, but 198. Come on. How much did you lose? $890, I think. Man, I do have to get out of here. I'm going to hold this a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, man. Come on down. Come on. Nice M2 solid line mug. Yeah, look at this, man. We're looking for this to come down. It does have some support there at 67.50. Maybe I'll hold this a little bit longer and get another ad in here, I guess. Man, I do have to get out of here. I got to see what's going on here. I don't want to get out for a loser now because I know this is going to be a winner. Here we go. Man, I cannot believe how bad I messed up this morning on this these trades, man. Look at this. When you fail, take a break and come back in an hour or so. Yeah, I took a trade right after I left the live stream. I made back some money on AMD. I took a $74 winner. I short sold it right here after the live stream. I actually short sold it on a couple different accounts. But anyways, boom, AMD all the way down. I should have held on to it on this account though. OXY, we'll see what happens here. Man, I'm going to add right here again. Eighty four. Come on. Eighty five. I'm going to add at one adult. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here we go, man. Coming up again. 191 so $69 I really don't want it up over 69.50 there this thing is a powerhouse man One seventy one eighty one. and how many ads do I have two four this is just to get some of my shares back. That's not really considered an ad. Add at high a day. Yeah, I just did, man. 191. Looking for this to come all the way back down to $65. I have a 191 average, I guess, or something. But see if this thing can really start breaking down now. If it gets back below this level, $67 there, it's really going to start breaking down. Let me find out. Yeah, I should have added that high a day right there. You're right. I should have waited a little bit more. DTST, what a beautiful trade right there, but had some money on it. You got to be uh, consistent with DTST. Recycle, add profit, recycle, add profit. Lots of money. It's choppy. But today was not the best day. I came in the market super sick and just really right at the market open. I jumped right into OXY. It was an okay trade at the market open, but I, did, I should have done my 112. And since it did not work out, I should have stopped out right there. Bad, bad, bad trade, man. 191.
197. Let's see if this can come back down here. Come on. Trying to make a little bit more money back today, so I'm not in the 900s. Taking a little bit off right there again. So I have a 185 average. Actually, it's a 191, but took a little bit off right there. Looking for this to finally break down. This thing just keeps climbing higher and higher and higher. So just scalping a little bit of money here and there off of OXY. Coming down, trying to get a little bit more money out of this thing. But I do have to get out of here. I apologize. So I'm just going to take my profit at $1.98. $1.98. I think OXY is coming down, down, and down, at least right here. Uh, so that's a little bit of a green trade. First profit, or and then down here. Oh, down into here. 65, 64 right there. Is it going to? I don't know, but I think so. I think, think, think so. Anyway, so I lost 800. What did I lose today? Let's see what I lost now. Bum, bum, bum. 80. So I lost $884 today after commissions now. And I hope OXY keeps breaking down here. I don't think it gets over 70, but if it does, I'm totally wrong. Definitely. All right, have a great day. I'm looking for OXY by the end of the day to be back down by $65. If it holds above 66 at end of day, it could start going up over 70 soon, but it should get under 66. All right, I hope you guys have a great day. I want to apologize about leaving early. I just was a little bit frustrated with myself. I should have really stopped out. I'm happy with where I did stop out at high a day, but what can I do, man? Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you guys in the morning. Tomorrow, I'm going to go for a big win again. Even though my account is a little bit under 13000 I'm going to go for another big win tomorrow. 66 should come soon. Yep, 66 should come soon, definitely. All right, have a great day, guys. I'll see you.